Some people like to start their day with a big mug of coffee or a morning jog, and I say the best way to start your morning is to go swimming with the turtles here at Honolulu Bay. Whoa. was actually sleeping in this deep trench so we kind of observed him for a minute and then we saw a turtle swim by who only has one front fin and we followed him for quite a ways. We saw a small juvenile turtle, some old grizzled turtles, we saw a ton. The coral here especially in the shallows of the bay is kind of worn down and dead so you're gonna have to go out quite a ways to see the kind of fish variety that you're used to seeing here on Maui. We saw some damselfish, I saw, I don't know what it was, but it was about the size of a dinner plate and it had a long nose and a long tail, so I'm gonna have to do some research when I get home. You have to swim out quite a ways to get to the part where it's not so murky and you have better visibility and it's actually really deep out there too, so make sure you're just keeping your eye on the shore and coming back with enough strength to swim all the way in because the current is a lot stronger than you think, even with this nice, calm, clear water. through the other day was about up to mid thigh with all the rain that they had so make sure you're careful if you want to be secluded make sure you get here early we were the first ones on the water but as we're leaving there's already been tons of snorkelers that have hiked in as well as two boats that have dropped people off when we first arrived here we saw the owner kind of cleaning up and we chatted with him for a minute and he conveyed to us the importance of respecting Honolulu Bay He's actually had to close it down once before and it wasn't giving access to anyone to come snorkel here. So keep that in mind when you visit any of Maui's wonderful beaches. One general rule, if you pack it in, you pack it out. Make sure you check out our other great snorkeling and paddleboarding videos from our Maui trip.